So in this step we have to remove the outstanding or damaged plastic pieces caused by the opening. You take the black piece and simply cut away the plastic. But you not always have to do this, or just a little bit, as in my case. That is everything you have to do with this piece in this step. Now on the switch body you first concentrate on the axle where the black piece is moving. Here you start to round the edge of it, but do it carefully, because you don't want to cut away too much or your finger. When you are happy enough with the result and think it is smooth, you begin to shorten the axle by cutting thin layers. Look to cut only thin layers and spend more time on this. And the end of the axle should stay straight. It is really important to do this careful, otherwise you could get a serious problem with the regluing. Then clean it with air and assemble the black piece with the axle and try to move it. It should work pretty well. If not, go ahead and look for mistakes. Now you take the back plate and cut away every remains of old glue and the plastic parts which you don't need any longer. I think the video shows good enough which parts I mean and where they are. It is really important to do this carefully and layer by layer, because we want to connect the pieces again in the right position without gaps or anything like that.
After that we have to remove the needless glue and plastic parts from the switch body, which are also shown in the video. But watch out for the area where the moving piece is and don't scratch it. When you think it's good enough, go ahead and try to assemble both pieces again. And as I said, there should be no gaps, otherwise you can't re-glue it well and will have leaks in the end. And no gaps really means no gaps, it have to match perfect. A good test is to put the pieces together and lay them down on a flat surface. When every edge of the switch body touches the surface, without much force to press it down, you're done fine. But if there is a gap of just a tenth of a millimeter, or even smaller, look for the mistake and cut away more material. When you're finally done, you can add the moving piece again and look if there's still no gap. And as well you can test if everything is smooth. Now comes the first test where we're going to look if the switch doesn't leak. Therefore you link some tubes like me and connect them with the two outlets and the air pump with the inlet.
Then you assemble everything, press the switch onto your surface and pump. There should be no leaks at all. Normally you only hear the air when you switch the position. Try every three positions by locating the moving piece in one position and produce some pressure. The switch should be able to endure until the tubes pop off. Do the test with every position.